Pepper. Welcome into my domain. I love how y'all just be showing out now. I really do love it. Just talk that talk. Talk that talk. I see. I got you tonight. Most definitely. Because it's storming here, y'all. And it be cooled off. And it storms everywhere. And I love it. I just love it. It's just rain everywhere. The two little kids think I had, y'all. Cyrus got had eight. He out. He about to dip. He just asked me to let him in my daughter's room. He about to, he he wanna he like uh what's the downers? Indigo. I I I, I let the abandoned one in last night. He spent the night. He he made it out of the storm. He outside now. He a little heartbroken that he outside now. Thunder, you know that's his pride and joy. Baby girl ran out there for a minute. Then she found out that rain was out there. Then she was like, yeah, let me in, let me in, somebody, let me in. I be loving when these cats be going crazy. <sighs> Call me crazy, but at least you call it. Anyway, how y'all doing? Let me put you up for a little while, okay? What y'all been up to? Where y'all been? What y'all do last night? Baby girl, baby, my homie's birthday today. And it's raining like a motherfucker. I know she like, you know what? This will happen on my birthday. I know she mad. I know she mad as hell. Because I be like, and it's supposed to rain all day too. Ooh, hey. I know she mad. I'm going to see. I'm going to get her on up and see, girl, what we doing. We got to go to brunch. We going to brunch. Because I ain't making it to nobody's courtroom. Mm -mm. The ocean. It wasn't a, a, a um, what you call it? It was walk-in court. You could walk in. She just told me the hours you got to walk in. So I was just going to walk in and tell them to go fuck themselves. And I'm sick of this shit. And then, um, but, but I got to be at court tomorrow. It ain't no damn walk in. It's, it's going to be some, you got me fucked up, bench warrant, suspending license, and all types of stuff. But I talked to, to a lawyer. I thought I said I didn't want a lawyer. I talked to, to a lawyer. So I was like, okay, I guess I got a lawyer. Fuck. But I had to make sure I don't got to pay. She was like, no. <laughs> Fuck, Okay. If that's the case, can you come on over here to Dearborn in and take care of that for me too? Because them, they dumb. And I had been asking them for years. When I, I remember when I first got that bitch, I asked them, can I just fucking pay? Because I don't like going and sitting in courts and you telling me a bunch of shit I don't want to hear. I don't even care about the laws of this land no more. I don't even respect this land. Well, let me tell y'all something. I mix matcha and mushroom tea. Let's see how this about to do it. Let's see how this reading go. I'm doing personal readings. You know me. If you want a personal reading, I, I forgot. I don't be telling y'all this stuff. But you are welcome to email me for personal readings. I did say I wasn't doing it for a while. I think I did. I need a break. But I'm back. I'm up. I got shit to do. I got bills to pay. Personal readings, run them up. Today, Tuesday, right? I'm just making sure I'm not tripping. Thirty two seven dollars for the second period and I'll set this part. And for the hook. What's the energy? We can't for the old hook. A compass. The man with the titty. The moon. Mm. And the sun. Lily is at the bottom trying to come out. Uh, shipwreck. Oh, let's, look what y'all got, though. So this is a match. This could be a fluid couple, too. 
Oh, this is a match. The nipples, the nipples has come out together. This could be a fiery connection too. It seems like, you know what's happening here? <laughs> this looks funny to me. You want to know what's happening? How did this come out? It's like you move in somewhere, right? Because the dock, the, the anchor is here. You drop your dock. So you got on your ship, right? Mm -hmm. We riding all around, you know, because we pirates. Mm -hmm. I'm a pirate. So you drop your dock. I mean, your, your thing. And then... You, you, you stay in one of the mansions, whatever. And then you come outside. While you outside, this motherfucker see you. See, because you can see, like, the compass. The compass is, like, you don't know where you might land. But you headed, you're following the sun. You see the sun in the middle of the compass? You're following the sun. Closer to my dreams. Look, you don't know where you're going, though. It's all illuminated to you. Until you, 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 you drop your... What the fuck is this thing? I just said it. Till you drop your anchor. Then when you drop your anchor and dock... Big baby here. I don't know if this is like a love connection though. Even though it's a match, but this could just be a fiery ass, fiery passion. This could be a passionate relationship. Very horny motherfuckers. This could be somebody you could be drawn to sexually real bad. Damn. It's getting hotter. I am here. It's the compass. It say, I am here to help you find your way. If there's a journey to be taken or a choice to be made, I can provide you with directions and a path you so you don't stray. That's what happened here. You following the light. Here you go. The unforeseen light. Look at this, the, the moon. You don't know where you're going, but the compass is send, sending you there. This. But they say I love this for us. The moon, love and romance, intuition and psychic abilities, imaginations and create creativity are but a few of the ideas I stand for. What do I stand for? What do I stand for? And they say I reach across the sky and influence the waters. I am admired all around. I bring fame. I bring honors. The, look, the moon. Reach across the sky and commands the waters. It commanded you to dock. This is about to be lit. You, 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 you. What what they say on Lord, Lord of the Rings? It's so funny because they be like, time. And then the beat kick, the keep, the beat, the beat kick in. Time. And when it's trying to, it's time to take down humans so the orcs and them can run around, whatever. I've been watching that all day, all week. I tried to watch a dude movie. I watched it, but I don't know why he think that shit shouldn't have been on Tubi. That was a straight up Tubi movie. No disrespect to the man because he made it to Amazon, but that was Tubi. Time is no better. They say, I am success, hear me roar. I control your ego and charisma. I boost your ouch. I boost your confidence and courage. I bring victory and glory. But be careful not to get too cocky or you will be burnt by arrogance. Like uh, like this man, I Chris. What the fuck was that? God, you just scared the dog shit out of me. I thought somebody was shooting. Damn, you just scared the hell out of me. It must be that cat trying to get in the house because he know how to come through that upstairs window, but I should have closed the bitch. 
I don't know how them cats be up there getting up there. The, the roof is like this. So how do they be? Man, I be petrified. It say, with stability and security, I bring peace of mind. I push you to preserve and help you reach your goal. Watch out for negative cards. They might shackle and pull you down a hole. That's the anchor. And I really feel like that's what's happening here. You docked here for stability. You you finally somewhere where you get you got a peace of mind, the, air, the fresh air. You not only got fresh water, you got fresh air. That's what's going on here. You're able to breathe instead of breathing in all of the toxins of uh, your polluted past. A lot of people think that they be running from their dog on path. No, you're not. When you leave, you're just done. It, it no longer serves you, like they said. Like, it's not that. It's not that for you anymore. See, is this man number one and man number two? They need to be more serious about that. You can't take my breath away. Okay, so this is man number two. Okay, and this could be some a male in your life, or this could be you. It says this optional second man car is the Riviera might be used to provide a specific reference for a reading. Or serve for a same-sex relationship or provide a choice that might better represent the personality of the male. Oh, shoot. The male subject of the reading in the second version. A strong-looking man wears a red cloak. His bare chest showing a masculine Mars symbol on a pendant. He looks to the right of the out car and appears determined and passionate. The car is lit with a golden background that communicates essential power. So his divine masculine. So this is divine feminine and divine masculine energy here. And then we have a second lady. So this is the second man and the second lady. It says, as with the second man, the expended Riviera debt includes an additional lady card. This version shows a powerful and elegant woman looking out of the window to the right of her of the card. She has, has a draped robe, a draped red robe. Look at them. Twin, where have you been? In between her breasts, she clutches the feminine symbol of Venus. The light shines in through the window, emphasizing her strong features. She is the embodiment of the feminine energy. I'm telling you, because when you dot, baby, when that anchor dot, and this could just be you looking out the boats. You know how they had them fancy boats now. Or a fancy yacht. Oh, I love me a good old yacht. Don't play with the yacht. Ooh, I love a good old yacht. Ooh, I remember when I first got in the yacht, right? I had the, I was in jail with a chick, right? We was the same, fine, everything. We had each other back to the end. I got out of jail. I sent her $30. I sent her $30 and I gave her my phone number and told her to fucking call me. And it's like when she got out of jail and she seen, because she always used to say, I don't give a fuck what no bitch said. You said you was going to do it. You got out of jail. You sent me that dog on money. I didn't tell you to send me the money. You sent me that dog on money. And you let me call. You couldn't. You call my mama for me. She just was. We was like this ever since. We was like that. But then a man got involved. A nigga named Mr. Rufus. Child. I'll always be a damn man. I remember her mama was so mad. Her mama was up there crying because she, she, they was in love with my fucking son. They always wanted the son, but they had two daughters. Her and her sister never got along. But so my son comes into the picture. He's like three, and they just dead ass in love with him. He used to go there and be living like a god. He, I'm not lying. That little boy lived like a god. It just had got to the doggone point. They, him, her mama and my mama used to talk about keeping my son. Oh, and them was my mama. Thick casino days. Ooh, it was thick. 
Anyway, let's get into this energy and see what's going on. Mm -hmm. Somebody, y'all about to not only be uh, you you heading in this particular area to um, gain some type of stability, but I, you're being guided. You're spiritually guided to this area, to this location, to this place. Whatever is happening, you're being spiritually guided to a particular community or a particular town, and that's when you about to meet the man that, that everybody want or the woman that everybody want, but it seems like nobody can have him. You know that motherfucker who take take the trash out and he had a great jogging pants on and a, and a, a the tank top and he just go to work and he clean and he just. He helped the little lady, the seniors out and shit. It's like everybody fucking want them. They all want them. The whole damn community want them. And he ain't talking to none of them. So then, you know, what happened when you get, reject all of the women? Oh, he gay. I can't stand it. You know how many times I've been called gay? I'm not gay. You just down bad and basic, nigga. You, that's all you got to get out of your community. That same old community you've been in. Because they're not about to understand your level up. They're going to say things to bring you down. But y'all done floated over the rainbow. Shit don't even bother y'all no more. Because I feel unbothered right now. Like, I don't even care. Like, I don't even care what you hoes talking about. And who can save the world? <laughs> Bro, where did that even come from? Only in time. He could be a Sagittarius. And he could be ready to jump your bones. Oh, because he ain't got no hoes. I told you, he ain't got no hoes. He's not superficial. He's not delusional. He's not obsessive or addictive. He ain't got time for none of that shit. Tell me what's going on. Give me one card for this compass. For Cancer Leo Plus. Give me one card for the compass. And who can save the road turns? Come on, Phil. What you got? What, what's going on with this road turning? The, uh, it's the what? It's the water. And I will go down with his ship. And I will throw my hands up and surrender shit. There will be no white flag about my door. It will be on mine. I'm in love and always will be. I'm still in love, but you can roll out with that bullshit. I ain't going down with this ship. There you go. Star. Star. Star, star, Kakashi say star. You know what? I think people is going to see y'all sneaking, playing around with each other. Mm -hmm. Look at that. A Leo and an Aquarius. Ain't that interesting? That's some interesting shit there. The two Leo and Aquarius sisters I know, baby, listen, they can't stand each other rotten toes. Why is the ten of swords here for the uh, anchor? I mean, what is that? The compass. It's like you 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 fell upon the sea. What the fuck is that? You fell upon the sea. You did let you did came to this new land, damaged, used, abused. This is like what we've been thinking all week. The Little Mermaid. Watching you see. That's what's happening here. Ooh, ooh, we could go watch. Like, I got to admit, y'all, bad boys was good. And we came in in the middle. We came in when the fight started. We went to the drive in, came in, the fight started. And then the next movie that came out, so we was about to stay through the next movie, you know, smoke, get fucked up, you know what I'm saying, like that. And then watch the beginning of the bad boys to say we had did it. So the next movie was Maxine. And I'm, we still, we... So first we started off cool. We make it. I'm making a drink. She rolling the damn blicky. Next thing you know, we waiting on it. You know how I get all the way up there. And you like pow, 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 pay back. Cause why would you put an action movie with a go to sleep movie? Uh, that, I think that's the movie we were supposed to be watching. If we was that was supposed to be on when it was time for us to start humping and shit like that. Cause we weren't gonna pay no attention. But we was two females, so it was like. Because uh, when I turned 40, was that when I turned 40? No, I wasn't, I wasn't even in this damn state. I don't know when the ages I had turned. We went to the movies 
me, her, and my daughter, and her daughter, she treated us to the doggone movies, okay, because it's her truck or vehicle. And um, we watched Barbie. So whatever that was, Barbie came out, and whatever age that was, we watched Barbie. So now, so I turned around and took her to the movies, and we went and watched Bad Boys, but it's like, Maxine, that was just like a waste of my time. So anyway, we wound up falling asleep. And I just couldn't believe I never fell asleep in the damn car. I never fall asleep at the movies. I never fell asleep at the movies. Priscilla, what's up? What you see? It was real weird to me. I never experienced sleep at the movies. We was in that bitch. Foo! And then my daughter was sitting up there and said, y'all had to sleep over in the car. Y'all had to sleep over in the car. And we just died laughing because, like, who thought it to say something like that? A sleep over in the car. I have never been knocked out. Like, I was knocked out to the point my head rolled. <laughs> and then I felt something. Like, I felt something. I looked up and it was a couple walking by. And I'm like, up, oh, that'll do it. Then she woke up too. Like, ah, uh, ah, uh, this is crazy, girl. You think we can make it? I'm like, we can try again. We went down again. It was like, okay, we got to get out of here. We was both sitting in the car debating who was about to go to the um, concession stand. Nobody wanted to go to it. We was terrible. We got so geeked on that last half of the movie, it didn't work out. But anyway, I feel like you, 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 I don't believe you shipwrecked. Yeah, I don't believe you shipwrecked. I just think y'all got the sailing to the undying lands. <laughs> Spirit. You probably had your ship going this way and you know y'all have released control. So you letting spirit direct you. So spirit switched that bitch on over there and told you, no, you going over here. And you looking like, well, goddamn. Why the ten of swords for the uh, compass, though? I wasn't trying to clarify, but the, the ten of swords. Why was the ten of swords here? Maybe I feel like some of y'all went the wrong way before. Nine of Swords is in reverse. Ah. Well, you ain't stressed no more. You ain't worried. We don't have no fear. You releasing that thought process, the anxiety. This is causing you, see, it went from the 10 to the 9. So you kind of releasing it. You were stressing over it a little bit. You felt betrayed. Some of y'all probably felt betrayed on where you chose to go on your own and not listen to spirit and spirit had to fuck it up for you. Spirit made it very, very messy for you. Cause some of y'all hard headed. I am. I know. I know. I'm hard headed. I, trust me. I'm gonna tell y'all the story. I'm gonna tell y'all the story. Child, I got to tell y'all the story. Now give me a card for this moon energy spirit and ancestors for Cancer Leo. Cause I'm gonna tell y'all this story, child. Cause this is this is famous. This is the famous story of all I ever told y'all. Tell me about this moon energy. Spirit ain't no good. Spirit, spirit is sending you this way. But see, you gotta figure out when you get there, is it's a lesson or a blessing? Stop. Stop. Why is the moon the ace of cups? It, this could be another water sign, too. A passionate, an a, a equal connection. Because you know how they say the same sign usually don't get along? Well, I heard that. And I, I don't believe that. I personally don't believe that. Cause I, I I I like my sign. The men that's on a shit, I like them. My sign, a male cancer or cancer cups. And that nigga my dog. And it can be some strong, passionate chemistry between you all because you both are releasing something within you all that you both have. You know you're good at, and it, it's just it just matches. It just works. Why the Ace of Cups here? Look. Look at this. This could be a healthy, beautiful partnership. Three of Pentacles. Tell me about this Ace of Cups for the moon. This is just a new beginning. An overflowing of emotional new beginnings. This is the fresh water.
Party, 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 let's all get wasted. Y'all might have a night out and start having fun with you. Some friends and family members. Look, Spirit said, trust the message. Y'all about to have some fun. Y'all having fun. Everything is coming in for y'all now. You don't even see this 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 dot or where you drop your anchor in at is about to change your life. <laughs> Uh, the girls is playing, y'all. It's so funny they out here playing like that. I actually like it. I feel like you was lost. And Spirit told, told the compass which way to take your ass. I think that's what happened. You was just lost. Was lost the mouth that This is a recovery. You're recovering from the betrayals. Spirit is sending you somewhere to recover and to heal. Some of y'all might take a trip with friends and family and have a ball that way too. Um, I, I gotta tell y'all something. This immigrant car is a little too much. Sorry if you're an immigrant, but come on, now, let's be realistic, okay? We about to grow the fuck up and be real. How is it that them niggas did like 10 bands and food stamps and like five racks and cash every month. I told y'all what Alfredo told us down the street. Alfredo came over here lit. Do you understand? He just spinning around in circles, y'all. Now, what was this about? It's wet as fuck out there. What, you you, you want to unalive yourself? We'll go right on the head, stupid. But they getting over here with racks and racks and racks and racks. But we're, see, 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 this will happen when you vote Democrat. Democrat is not for the people. Democrat is for the um, aliens, illegal aliens and the aliens and the, the immigrants. Now, take your ass to their country and see how they treat you. Period. I hate to be like this. But when you come over here illegally, the first thing on the Constitution is you cannot legally bring your ass over here without getting your paperwork and your documentation. And they are already claiming victim. Oh, it's so hard and it's so much. Well, guess what? It's so hard and it's so much to be over here without assistance. So you get your ass over here illegally and get assistance. Like, I'm ready to go to uh, Mexico and come, come through the border and get assistance. I don't care what you call me. I'm ready to come. That's why the hell them Asians and everybody else got the big ass mansions and the houses and stuff like that. But then it, I got to actually stand up for clear people at this point because they got to sit up here and get married and had contracts, married marriages. And they got to, uh, they filed bankruptcy to stay above flow. Meanwhile, I said this, I said it. Y'all can come for me. I don't care. The ignorant, melanated people who don't see, who's ignorant to politics is not even aware that you're already in a dictatorship, you dummy. Because no way was Biden supposed to be removed the way he was supposed to remove. It was supposed to be a vote. We were supposed to vote him out. We was never ever, we were supposed to have a primary. When the fuck did that happen? We never had a primary. It just went straight to Biden and Trump. Like, what? Then Trump, Biden dropped out of force. He's bullied out of the race. His son should have came throwing bowls, like back up off my daddy. And then, next thing you know, Scamela Harris is in the office. And, and now we got to vote on her? Like, I never said that. I never agreed to that. Well, y'all know who I'm voting for. I've been voting for him for three years. Except for the local level. I'm a local voter. Other than that, I play with the presidency. Judge me if you want to. But after what happened, and I actually see the electoral votes do what they wanted to do with my own two eyes. Like, when that election happened with Hillary and Trump, and I actually seen it, I knew right then and there that 
you can vote for whoever the fuck you want to vote for. Because the, the, the Electoral College can have 950 million thousand votes for you and still will vote for Trump. That, that, that's how I go. They're going to vote for who they want to vote for. But honey child, this is crazy. So what's the point of the election if it's rigged? So they want to they wanna get Trump for scamming on votes. But at the end of the day, whether he scam or not, he don't have the final say. The amount of votes that's made does not have the final say. Look at how it all goes to vote. That is not how your vote do not matter. <laughs> they 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 low key collecting the census on y'all asses is what they doing. Just like when I tried to uh, ask for a pardon. What did he? What, what did what did that nigga say? Did you vote for me? And I'm like, damn, I need to ask Trump. Could he clear my whole record? I don't want nothing. I don't want. I want to be a virgin. <laughs> I want to be a born again virgin with my record. Tell me about this son here for cancer, Leo Pusser, and infectious spirits. You don't trust that this person that spirit is about to send towards you could be your person. Not only that, you're not even going to the spirit God and ancestors about this person. You just assuming like nobody's never gonna love me. Nobody's gonna be the one for me. Nobody, 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 nobody. Put some food on your altar. Talk to your ancestors. Well, I don't know. Whatever y'all gotta give them, give them a blunt. I don't know. Whatever you got to do, talk, talk to your ancestors. Go to them. Ask them for clarity. Ask them for understanding. But you, you clearly like somebody. Some of y'all been right. Look at the fallen star. Some of y'all been right. Look at the sun, the moon, and the stars. Come on now. Some of y'all been writing about what y'all want, who y'all want, what y'all looking for. And understand this. It's no such thing as nobody perfect. I ain't found the perfect motherfucker yet. Tell me where the perfect nigga said. Because I don't know. Because I ain't nowhere near perfect. I'm going to dig up my nose. I'm going to fart. I'm going to be a human being. Okay? I ain't in the 5D yet. I ain't up there with uh, the dragons and the, uh, the angels and I don't know. The orcs and the elves. I'm not up there with the fairies and the lizards. I'm not there. I'm down here with y'all. So perfect ain't, ain't, that ain't nothing. That's me. But I'm real than the motherfucker. And I ain't gonna hold you up. I'll tell you that. Ain't gonna hurt you up. Ain't gonna hurt you. Here you go. Here y'all go. Still fighting over this nothing. I don't even think this is a fight over this. This might be him. Because I told you, this is a well-off man. All the hoes want him, but he don't want none of the hoes. That should be funny. Tell us about this anchor. For Cancer Leo Cuts. Tell me about this anchor. It's just so funny watching her little ass in the litter to me. Six of Cups. Tell me about this anchor, Fairy Nancy. Right. Somebody from the past coming to dock. Ooh, you could be moving to where somebody in your past is at. Or this could be a child. You could have a, a reckless fire sign child. Knight of Wands and Reverse Spirit and Ancestors. Four of Cups. It's somebody in your past that's missed an opportunity. Somebody that's bored. Somebody that's kind of like upset. Somebody might not be happy. A kid might not be happy where y'all moved to or something like that. Y'all 
you might regret something feeling like you did it impulsively. Well, some I feel like somebody is seeing because it's like a bit a bandit building or like a soul home. Like somebody is seeing that you're not there anymore. Like this isn't this isn't that anymore. It's like somebody's gonna come flying up to your house and that's not even your house no more. It's like a neighbor like, uh, who are you looking for? And they like the young lady or the young man is still here. They was like, Oh, she moved out like a week ago. And they just fall on the floor. Fall on the floor, honey. It's, uh, it, uh that sound keep playing in my head. I made up my mind. I wasted my time. Hey, Google. Play. Hey, girl. Hey, little lady. I like how she got that one little dot on her lip. Come here. Let, let them see your dot on your lip. As soon as I pick her up, she start praying. Look at the little dot. Look at the little big white dot right here. Oh, she's so cute. I like. It. Look at her paws on the back of her feet. And look, you put them together. My daughter seen this and said it's a heart. <laughs> I can't do it. She won't let me. It's not the animals, ma'am. Look how far you done came instead of that little bitty fragile ball I had with your ass rolling all over your head. Look how strong you is. Look at your belly. I don't feel your ribs no more, girl. Oh, you so big and healthy. I'm so proud of you. I'm so glad I saved you. Because you was on your way out, baby. You really was. Yes, you was. Don't be shaking your head at me. <laughs> Hi. Okay, y'all, I got to tell y'all something. Because uh, I've been abused all night and all morning, too. So, I'm doing a couple of readings first because it's still storming out there. I got to go to the hospital. I fucked up my toe. And I got to write the city. I got to email the city, write the city, and tell them they got to fix that hump. Because the second time I did it, the first time I hit that hump, I had shoes on. The second time I had sandals on. And I fucked up my toe. So, I didn't think I was about to be going to doctors and stuff. I thought I was just going to shake it off. Oh, no. That mug got this big. Then it's, it got red. And I'm like, oh. Then I started looking it up. Then my sister was like, I told you to go to the doctor. And then... And then Cause you gonna get mad if it turned black. I'm like black. Oh no! And I start looking up stuff, and they said, yeah, it could hit a vessel. It could have hit a ligament. that travel, and I'm like, oh no! Why? Why? Yeah, bless the cards. Now bless the cards. Bless the cards. Yeah. <laughs> bless them. Bless them. Bless them. Yeah. There we go. Big girl. Big girl. You love playing on that porch, don't you? How you gonna put your, your tail on the girl? Yeah, tell, me, tell us about this divine feminine energy for Cancer Leo Plus. Divine feminine energy. Mm-hmm. Look what y'all doing. Tell me about this divine feminine energy. Some of y'all might be saying to y'all stuff, but y'all try to act like y'all know that somebody looking at y'all. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Some of y'all become obsessed with being like insecure or just a victim. Somebody could be obsessed with you. Obsessed with victimizing themselves. We've seen the Eight of Swords. Obsessed with victimizing themselves about you. Addicted to being a victim. That's fucking boring, bro. 
addicted to being a victim. That's fuck. That's a misery. What's some people? Every time you look up, they didn't found another thing about themselves that hurts them. My sons need to be one of them. No, he don't do that. He over dramatizes when he hurt. Cause he hit his elbow the other day. I told y'all about that. And he was like, in his head, he needs to be rushed to the hospital on his surgery bed. And pictures need to be all over the internet. And everybody needs to be like, get well soon. That's how he said. Somebody hollering at somebody dog. They finally learned not to get their cats down here. They dog down here because Dina fucked up one of them dogs. And I, I, I honestly didn't care because I warned them when we first moved over here. I told them she is not normal. She like a Keisha on the east side. Don't, don't fuck with this, this cat. She's not a normal cat. It just so happened, her and Princess was outside and Princess was little. And it went up and it was stuck. And everybody know the mama bear cats. They stand their ground. She was in front of this house. Her body was turned so weird. It was so crazy. And then I just heard that. Because Zena don't yell loud. She don't do that. Rah! All that shit. She just be like. And then she pounced on that nigga. You know what I'm saying? The niggas, they just was like, oh, here go this hell. So let me go under the car. They'll go under the car or something. Or they'll go all the way on the other side of the street. But they never, like, fucked with it. The dogs. Little chihuahua wild, wild dogs. Stop purring. Girl, sit down. You purring and walking around. That's weird. Girl. <laughs> Don't you sit down. Your purrs is loud to be so little. I was sad and lonely. I think the divine feminine, by she not being of this land, of this plan, or because of the intuition is so heightened, you could have unrealistic expectations to others or to the masculine energy because of, you listening? <laughs> because of, uh, you're expecting something that they don't have to give. A lot of the feminine energy really needs to understand that the masculines is not up here with us. They're not. They're down here. Because they've been caught up in uh, religion and society grooming the man to believe that he's some type of... I don't know what they be... They manip manipulate them into, be, into thinking that they need to be bowed down to. I've seen this clip. It's them people uh, with Whoopi Goldberg beyond. So the woman was asking the man about all of their, huh? she was saying her girlfriends, they have jobs, they own their businesses, they got it all going on, but nobody wants to marry them. So the man said, don't nobody want no woman. They got all of that going the fuck on. Because with that, basically, you get somebody who has an opinion other than yours. So marriage originally in this country wasn't based on a woman with an opinion it was based off of uh eve not lithia because you see what happens to the woman with the opinion lithia happens to the woman with the opinion she'd be like i'm gonna head on out nigga go find you somebody to fuck up they never talked about who lithia went and found well lithia started fucking the gods i said what i said don't come back to me <laughs> So the side chick E, she, yes, 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 Master Adam. Yes, Master Adam. Yes, Master Adam. Yes, we're going to do missionary, Master Adam. No. Lithia said, no. Let me ride that donkey, donkey. Let me ride that donkey. And I don't, so the Adam is story, uh, the story is I don't know like how Lithia made him feel, I guess like a bitch when she was on top of him. And he don't like the feeling that he got behind it. But it is what it is, okay? That's because they know they. Hold on, because if they fighting over the dogs, hold on. Anyway, y'all. Uh, 
I feel like a lot of y'all need to go inward and pay attention to how you contribute to your own destruction. Because it seems like, honestly, you do, you live in some type of fucked up reality here, believing that somebody is about to be 100% matching your energy. This could be somebody flawed. They might have a history of holes or something. Look, you never gonna know. But what's wrong with taking a risk? And I'm not saying that, like, blind yourself to what's going on in front of you. Like, somebody blankly doing fuck nigga shit then, whatever. But pay attention to, in the beginning, it could be a love bomb. It don't always happen in somebody coming back. The beginning could actually be a love bomb. But I'm going to tell you something else about the retrograde. <clears throat> a lesson and a blessing can come during the retrograde. It does not always have to be a, less, a, 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 a lesson in it. It could be a blessing in it too because the lesson is the blessing. So you got to really pay attention to what you, you want right now. What is this devil energy here for Cancer Leo Cups? For this feminine energy. Here I go. I smell something again. A three of Pentecost is in reverse. And the Queen of Swords. Why is the Three of Pentacles in reverse? The Devil. What? The Moon is in reverse. This could have been somebody. Some of y'all are fucking up your own projects, your own assignments, your own shit. Out of you're trying to release your fear around partnerships, possibly. I I, I think some of y'all have a, a a way y'all think when it comes to relationships. It could really be fucking y'all up a little bit. You, you it's like you expecting somebody to know certain shit. Without never being taught. It's like you want somebody to automatically know that you like greens and cornbread. Without you telling them. Like, you're supposed to just know I'm a greens and cornbread. Blah, blah, blah. Or this is someone who's, who, who hasn't showed themselves to you. I don't know. Tell me about this energy here. Clarify this shit. No wonder you was trying to stay hidden because you were unsure of your damn self. But you can't stay hidden forever. You will miss out. Bound by the man. So, God, spirit just out here clarifying every damn thing. It says staff shafted by expectations. This, and that's what she come in at. It is time to redefine limits and reclaim your freedom. Some of y'all could be spec connected to something spiritually or religiously that caused you to live in this this bubble of this delusion. That's the only thing I can think this could be. It's like you are for that shit at this point to believe that what what's a good example? You 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 can just sit up here and like I just said, they supposed to know that you like greens and cornbread. Somebody supposed to know that you like laying in the bed on Sunday. Somebody supposed to know you got you like movies and you never told them. This could be a man from your past that you know, but you never ever ever really gave him the time. You come off as so freaking bitter and upset and mad, and you hate the world. Some of y'all come off as if y'all hate relationships, but it's just like. I understand things you're not tolerating. Nah, nah, I ain't say that. Some things you may not be tolerating, but some things it's just like, be fucking for real. You mad because the man drive the bus. You mad that the man got kids. Well, don't be with me and they got kids. I don't know what to say. Tell me about this masculine energy here for Cancer Leo Cubs. So some of y'all are releasing your fear around relationships your and partnerships and your obsession with how it's supposed to be. <laughs> Baby, you got the ace of cups, the my person, and the two of cups. Wait, release it, okay? Whatever you need to do, stop. Stop living in fear. Release the fear. And I mean the fear and live your life. Hey, you steady chasing that paper. Just live your life. Tell me more about this uh, masculine energy for Cancer. Cancer. 
Four of Swords is in reverse. Tell me something now. Tell me something, dude. Yeah, this this might be a do over. Why the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for this? This is Aries taking a leap of faith. He could be rainbow. He could have been rainbow. He probably cussed, kissed the boy. Got some head. I don't fucking know. It's a fiery motherfucker. I tell you that. This is both of the Aries energy is here. A fool with the emperor. Who was he? Oh, that ain't work out with him. Oh, oh, oh. You weren't fucking with him no more, was you? That King of Cups must have fucked up. Yeah, he fucked up any opportunity he had with you. What did you do? This could be your emotional blockage you need to fix. Oh, give me a card for him. <laughs> Y'all gonna, gonna play with this dog on man like that? This looks like somebody who, who he came a long way. <laughs> Tell me about this masculine energy. Spirit and ancestors for Cancer of the Oak Shadowed waters. Oh, it gets so juicy. Beware illusions that skim the surface for true understanding lies in the D. See, you know what? I can't deal with the line in the D. I need mean, <laughs> that should take my mind the wrong way. Give me another card for this masculine energy. Playful innocence. And you know what I feel like the illusion is? You assuming by how this person looks. He might get up and go run every day. And you know, a, a real motherfucker with a bag will sit up there. They got another, they got like two cars. They had that one little car, uh, that, that work car, and then they got that big boy. You know, that Sunday car. Uh, some men are not all gone off of labels and clothes and jewelry. It all depends. Some people are just neat and clean. Some niggas still just like they in the late 90s, early 2000s. Okay, it all depends. Uh, it's a way to break that to your friend. I mean, your, your, your lover, whoever you're dealing with. You could buy him something. You know what I'm saying? If it's going that way, buy him something. And see how he take to it. Or, you know, I, I have to play games. I did this with the bull. I had to do it because it was like, look. It wasn't nothing wrong with how the uh, bull dressed, but you want to fuck it with me. So, I'm like, a little bit of Monica in my life. A little. So, I'll buy something right. And then he'll try to go buy something equivalent to it. But he'll do it on a... I don't know if it's me and I I dress a certain way in my head and then when they get to putting stuff on, it's like, what the fuck is that? He wore a Michael Kors sweater and it had Michael Kors across it. And I'm like, you ain't going nowhere with me with that. I would rather you just, it be um, MK down here in the fucking corner. That's like having that Gucci shit. Everything say Gucci. Got the G's everywhere. I'm not that type of person. I hate that kind of stuff. What they call it? Signature. Signature my ass. Especially Gucci and Louis. Ugh. Ain't even the same material no more. The quality of Gucci and Louis is trash to me now. And St. Lutheran, Lauren, whoever he is, I don't even know that man. I looked him up a little bit, found out a little bit about him, but I don't care for him. Only person I can kind of get jiggy with when it comes to a label is MCM. But other than that, I buy black. I buy black bitches purses, black men purses. I try to get the black men shoes, the socks, the t-shirts, the drawers. Now they got uh, phone companies. They got all types of stuff going on. It say playful innocence. Embrace a childish spirit where baby steps lead to joy, not seriousness. And that's all you need right now. Even if this is somebody from the past. Just be fun. Just have fun. Stop being, stop being stuck in your ass. Cause this is this is a game banging, not game banging spirit. Come on now. I did nobody tell you to go fall in love with this fool. I just said have fun. 
But this is a serious ass energy here. This is somebody who's very serious, very accomplishment. He's open to taking a leap of faith. He's not a fool. He's very innocent. He's very free and he's very fucking single. He's a hard worker though, I believe. I believe he's, this is somebody who wants his lady. Because the temperance was in reverse. So this is somebody aimlessly searching for his lady. And this is somebody you bump back into from the past. Boo. Y'all run right back into each other. I think it is somebody from your damn past you run back into. And they they sitting, they sitting on business. They were delayed because spirit needed you to dock somewhere. Spirit needed you to get the fuck up and go. Get we've been we've been pulling this nigga up for two years, this emperor energy up for two years, and some of us never got him because we never got the fuck up and go. Well Melanie Ho said God told her, God said go. So go. I've been in my house for 55 years. Okay then. What, 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 what you want then? I don't know what y'all fucking want. And and that whole logic too, that that's a stuck logic to me. I've been in my house for 20 years. And and then what? Sell a bitch and get another house. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. But it's time to live. Stop being scared to live. I say.